With the ever increasing need to provide information regarding room areas and volumes, let's have a look at how Caddy 16 can help us provide this information in a form which is not only within the, uh, the Caddy drawing but also exported to say an Excel spreadsheet. We're going to go into the Arch UK application so for those not familiar right click over one of the application buttons and load application choose the application to load and it will appear in, appear in the drop down list. So having loaded the Arch UK we're going to go to the scheduling and here we have some that I've already provided within this drawing but we're just going to finish it off here so we'll go to areas it says create an area indicate areas two diagonal corners which means that if we select a rectangular room or we're interested in a rectangular room we could just select the diagonally opposite corners right click option end and that will provide the the rectangle for the room we can give the name of the area uh, within the area reference there so we'll call this reception and then we can define what we want to do with the the box that makes up the area representation so we have make the text visible that we're going to put in make it plottable make it uh, the polyline for the outline of the room plottable too so we can just tick or, or remove those ticks there we have a room height so we'll make that 2400 okay that and we see that we have uh, room description in there. We have a more intricate room to, uh, to plot here so we'll, we'll do that So just clicking on the corners and uh, we can zoom in um, across our doorway there but here we're faced with uh, not a, uh, a straight line but a curve. I'm simply just going to cut across the curve, right click option end and I'll call this kitchen. Now we can see there that we have our, our line that defines the room. But this is a polyline and if we right click and we go to modify we can actually make that line segment an arc. So we can pick it and then we can simply use the snap modes. So if we go to additional snap modes and we'll snap to the line and that will give us a nice curve to complete the room. As we see here, finished the whole thing off and if we go to schedule we can put our text heights in there, let's make that slightly smaller uh, so that we can dictate what the size of the text is, what units we want to schedule in, so you choose meters, millimeters and so on. Uh, we can have things like uh, suffix for area values, so squared there. We can include annotations, so we can include a title, total area, include the volumes and the heights as well. And we can choose how much of the drawing we actually want to do. So if we have multiple plans we can simply draw a rectangle or a poly polygon around it and so on. So we'll say OK to that and we'll place our table there and that will provide us with our room area breakdown and volumes and heights too. Having got our table, we can select it, and if we go to modify, we'll see that we have the ability to to edit the table contents. We can just table object. We can resize it, resize the cells, edit the text parameters, but we can also export that to Excel. So if we give this a name, so we'll call it room areas, and then save that will export it to Excel and we can now examine that file to see what uh, Caddy has created for us. So here we have our Excel spreadsheet and we can use it in any way we choose fit. So that's how you can schedule using Caddy and the Caddy's area scheduling tools.